Just when I think things kind of get any better as a Sutherland supporter, I find out this little bit of news. I'm not returning rumours and speculation at the minute, but apparently Stuart Donald is a step closer to leaving Sunderland Football Club. It's time to go! Hit the thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you're new. Wow, can't believe it. Wembley, getting promotion and now this, it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But I know returning rumours and speculations at the minute, but uh, you know what I'm like? I can run before I can walk. <laughs> but in any way, listen, Stuart Donald is apparently in advanced talks with a group. I think it's a Swiss group. I, I'm not 100% on that. But this is coming from Tom White Sky Sports. You know, he didn't see the Swiss part, but he did see a group and they're in advanced talks. So Stuart Donald, he purchased the club from Ellis Short, who basically got sick of putting money in the club in 2018. Then just 19 months later, he wanted to sell up as he got, like, Sullen supporters got sick, basically. And he admitted that there was mistakes made. Listen, he, he decided to step down, but still had the majority of the shares. Um... Then I think it was about July in 2020, he decided to put up the club for sale. In steps, KLD. KLD, he, he, took, he took control and uh, control and stake in the club, meaning he controlled the club on a regular basis, basically, with the man drops being the majority shareholders in December 2020. Listen, we've got on Stuart Donald when he first come to the club. For me, from my personal point of view, um, comment below if you have a different point of view, but from my point of view, he, um, he sort of, he wore his heart on his sleeve, Donald, if you watch the documentary, like, he thought this Will Grigg situation, that bringing Will Grigg in, will get some uh, championship and he can cash in and, and make a few quid, um, but the biggest mistake he made is not signing Josh Marger. It absolutely killed us. Max Power done an interview with uh, the Rotary Report lads and he said that the turning point was the Josh Madger situation and that, hearing it from a professional as well, who was at Sunderland, just killed it, killed us for me. Like, I was gutted. I was absolutely gutted when Madger went. I think he got 16 goals up until January it was and then obviously, he, he, I don't know if his agent wanted more money. We didn't know the back, the back side of the story, if you know what I mean, the, what's going on behind closed doors. But basically, he left and Will Grigg was meant to be to come in to do the job. And listen, Will Grigg did, has scored a lot of goals, didn't do much in the championship, but he, he League One, he, he, he killed it before we come to Sunderland. And then when he come to Sunderland, he didn't want to be here. And then that was that was Stuart Donald's terrible, terrible mistake. And then do you know what? He said he said himself that once I've outstayed me welcome, I will leave. I'll leave. And he didn't. He's dragged his feet and dragged his feet. Um and the worst thing for me was Charlie Maven. He done my nothing. Watching the, just watch the next flick story. He was arrogant. Just so arrogant. I didn't want to try and swear too much on him, but he was very, very arrogant up his cell. And he ran the, uh, the, the ticket office crew. And now they try and hype up, hype up the, the game, hype up everybody before the game to try and sell tickets. And he was, oh, he was horrible. He was a nightmare. And then to make things worse for me, this season, not Lang. He tried to get it to Fowler Square, he got chased out of the Southern supporters, just attending matches and that. And when he knows Southern supporters, are, he's not in the best books. So for me, he should have just kept a low profile and kept out the way. He done me eating loads. More, probably more than Stuart Donald, to be honest. But in any way, listen, the rumours had it that Stuart Donald is a step closer to leaving Sunderland, which is good. I, I think it's something to do with KLD. Obviously, we're bigging in the. the the Swiss side of things. That's just a, a rumour. There must be a little bit of truth behind these rumours, obviously, if it's going to be pushed all, pushed by the press on social media and all sorts. That's where I've seen that from Tom White on social media. But listen, for me, it's a good thing. We can start to uh, move forward as a club, especially with going into the championship. Obviously, Speakman done his interview regarding budget. For me, listen, look at Luton. Look at Luton regarding the budget. Look at how, how well they have done as a club on a very, very small budget. Their budget was like teams it was going to be fighting for relegation in the championship and they have ended up being in the playoffs and they've done, they were that close to, to, to getting to Wembley. So for me, you can, you can uh, moving forward on a small budget. We, we've proved it. Look, we had next to note and we've went up to the championship. You know, just take a look at us. But 
the things what we can't be doing for the championship is what Speakman was doing. I know Stephen's a big fan of Speakman, Speakman, but he got away with a lot in the League One and in the championship, it'll not be as forgiven. And if, if things got tits up in the championship, then bang, we're back in League One or we could be like facing a relegation fight all season long. So, going into the season with any full backs, we're short to start with, in my opinion, definitely at left back. Centre back when he'd one in. So he's got to address these issues. Listen, you can always find a diamond in the rough. Look, uh, God, there's a quite a few where we got. We got um, Patrick Roberts, Kim Gordon, near the back end of the season. Uh, Pritchard, my God, what a diamond in the rough he was. Look, Corey Evans. Corey Evans, experienced championship player. Um, and, we, and we brought him down into League One. He done absolutely outstanding, especially when Alex Neal come in. So listen, you can build a really good squad and get into champ like consolidate its spot in the championship. No, never mind just that, you can even gun for promotion. Why not? You didn't need to spend millions and millions and millions to get into the Premier League. But once you're in the Premier League, obviously you've got to spe spend to uh, to steer in there. That's just a given. But for me, you didn't need to spend millions to get into the Premier League. Look at Luton. That's all I'm going to see. Look at Luton. Right, that's probably about it for this video now. Hit the thumbs up on this one, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next video.